So I've been a marketer, business owner, advertiser, copywriter for about a decade now. And one thing that I realized is, is I was making a huge mistake that most marketers were making. And what that mistake was, is I always focused on getting new leads. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my fancy technology here. This is called paper, and this is called a pen, but not just any ordinary pen. This is a color changing pen, right? So I get all of these different colors, right? Unlike these boring pens. So anyways, let's get started. So here is you right here, okay? So this is you, okay? And this is your business. And you have a service. And what you want ultimately to do is get this service in front of the right people. Um, so you want your service to be uh, around this audience too. And because I have different colors, we're gonna change that to different colors. We got red here. So here is what most people focus on. They focus on a huge bucket of new leads. Okay. So these are new leads. Okay. And so what you want to do is, is you want to advertise to these leads so that these leads will come to you and they'll give you money. Um, in exchange for a solution to their problem. So what do people do? They focus on the latest uh, advertising platforms. That's a big mistake, right? Everybody's always focused on the latest platforms, um, one of which is TikTok. But not just TikTok, people also focus on the new updated features of existing platforms as well, such as YouTube Shorts, and um, you know things like that where you can place Facebook ads across different uh, partner platforms and whatnot. So that's where most businesses focus on is the latest advertising trends and platforms. The second thing that most business owners focus on is lead gen, right? So you know maybe it's an ebook or maybe it's a cheat sheet or maybe it's a blueprint or a training series and they put all of their effort and time so they can attract this new audience right here to come to them and to ultimately um, you know, pay for the solution that they offer. <clears throat> the problem with this is, is the rising ad cost, right? Um, what's happening is, is Apple iOS 14 got released in around May of 2021. And it knocked out a lot of small businesses, mainly because businesses were flying blind. Um, and by blind, I mean when somebody were to take action, such as becoming a lead or buying a low ticket offer, um, that pixel would not fire. Therefore, you did not know which advertisement um, or creative or any of that, the, the, the different vari or, uh, variables, you didn't know which ad was the winner when it came to which one converted the best, right? So if somebody were to, you know, click on your um, ebook reg or uh, landing page, and then they would hit the thank you confirmation page, that would not fire back to Facebook. And so you're missing a lot of the um, conversions. And because of that, you're not able to really scale up your business because you can't, you know, you don't know which, which advertisement or ad set in, in, in Facebook ads case, you don't know which one to dial up, right? You don't know which one to turn up the ad spend. So <clears throat> um, this personally happened to me. I had a business where I was, um, I had a business where I did a lot of this right here, right? And I was spending about $2,000 a day. And when that hit, um, you know, today I barely spent anything, but I'm getting ready to launch new ads and here's why. Um, a lot of people, they'll get these leads and then what happens is, is they pitch them the offer and then let's use a different color, uh, purple. And then what happens is, is they go into a bucket. Now I call this bucket current leads right so these are people's current leads that they have and believe it or not 
people are so focused on all these latest trends, latest advertising platforms, latest lead generation, latest, you know, uh, top of funnel uh, strategies, such as, you know, somebody watches a video for this long, you retarget them to give them this, that, that, and this. Um, they focus too much on their offer. And I know that sounds silly, um, but it's true. People do. They focus way too much on their offer and trying to fancy up the language on their sales page and all that. And believe it or not, when they have somebody who actually takes the time to click on their ad, download an ebook or a cheat sheet or buy a low ticket funnel or product, they do not do anything with them. They're only looking here, whereas this is really where the money is, right? Because, you know, number one, there's a couple of sayings. Number one, it's fortune is in the follow up. And number two, the most expensive customer is your first, okay? So these are going to be your most expensive, and with ad, uh, rising ad costs, it's going to make it even more difficult, right? So that said, this is where you want to start to focus. Then this doesn't matter, and I'll show you. So what happens is, for example, like a realtor, I mean, they're only going to follow up with these people one and a half times. The average realtor only follows up one and a half times with their leads. But imagine if you followed up with those leads 20 times, right? So, you know, you, you come over here and you send an email out, okay? And then the next day, you send another email out. And then the next day, you send another email out. And every single day for 30 days straight, you send your audience, uh, your, your current leads, an email a day, okay? Now, whether or not they took a big action and got your, you know, flagship service or flagship product or they just downloaded something like this they might not be ready for example to talk to you on the phone um they not might not be ready at the time because look here's the thing what it comes down to making a conversion is is having the right audience okay and putting in front of them the right offer and here's the biggest part, and this is why people fail at the right time, okay? This is the most important part. The right audience is easy. Having the right offer is fine or easy. You just have to have a solution to a problem. That's it, okay? If somebody wants to lose weight, you give them a diet plan. If somebody wants to get fit, you get in the gym with them. You have to have that solution. But... If it's not at the right time, I don't care how good your offer is, I don't care how good your audience is, it's not going to convert. So that's why it's so important to stay in their face, to stay, to have them stay in your ecosystem, because when it is the right time, they're going to make a phone call. They're going to get that solution. And the only person that's going to get their money is the person that they've seen all of these days, right? And it doesn't just have to be email. It can be phone, right? It can be uh, retargeting ads. Okay. Um, we mentioned email. Okay. It can be uh, mailers. Uh, it could be YouTube videos. What and, and, and you know what's crazy about YouTube and stuff is is YouTube wants the user experience to be positive, as do all platforms. But YouTube, you know, if you notice, you'll go watch a video and then also the next day you go to YouTube and it's like, bam, that person is all over your home screen because the algorithm says, hey, this, this user um, enjoys these types of videos. Let's put this in front of them again. So that said, these are a lot of good channels for remarketing and, and your follow-up. So when it is the right time, they're ready to buy. And, um, and we do this, I do this with one email a day. And people say, oh, that's too much, Brandon. That's too much to send one email a day. If you send the right content, it's not. If you're sending every single day, get 10% off, blah, 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 sale, 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 and coming out with your gun swinging, sure, emailing every day is way too often. But if you're doing strategic copywriting and you're storytelling and you're teaching and you're overall giving value, 
then why in the world wouldn't they want to check those emails every day, right? If somebody wants to lose weight, for example, why would they not want to open up an email from you um, and what you're saying to them is going to get them closer to that goal? Now, if they, like I said before, if they open up the email and it's screaming sale and, and this and that, of course they're not going to want to. But if you do it in a strategic way, um, it's going to be exciting for them to open up the email. So you have to give the value um, or at least where the email leads to, right, which could be a YouTube video, it could be anything, you have to make sure the value is there, okay? And then you can do little soft pitches like PS. If you'd like to jump on the phone with me, click this link, bam. But guys, this is where you should focus. And big, huge lesson taught for me is because when all the um, iOS stuff kicked in, I was unable to spend and get all these new leads right here. And I'm seeing a lot of other businesses doing the same. However, if I had a really, really good follow up, okay, you know, and it's not just one segment of email, and it's if this person visits this page here, they're gonna get, branch off and get this email over here, you know, because my technology that I use does what's called site event, uh, meaning that, you know, if they click on a page, my system sees it and it can trigger an email. So we do all of these strategic uh, follow-up methods um, that have been proven effective in our business. And what we've realized is, is once this system is set up, and keep in mind, this is all automated. This is not you waking up every single day and sending John an email and then, you know, sending uh, Karen an email, sending Susan and Kelly and, and Jacob an email. This is all automated based off of the behavior of your follow-up leads or your current leads. Now, the stronger that is, what's gonna happen? That's gonna increase your lifetime customer value and then that's gonna give you more capital to put over here, right? And of course, there's a whole new method here of how to get those, you know, how, how, to, how to liquidate ad spend so you're not even really spinning ads. But I'm telling you, if you get this follow-up in check and fixed, then you're able to come over here and just spend whatever you want to do because you know every time a lead comes into your ecosystem through your funnel, you know what the lifetime customer value that's going to be. And if that customer lifetime customer value is you know an average of every single lead that you get, call it $500, call it $1,000, then you know that you can go over here and spend $100 per lead, $200 per lead. And let me ask you something. How is your competition going to compete with that? It's not. You don't have to worry about it because they're dropping the ball over here. They're doing this. They're failing and they're quitting. You start backwards. You're working backwards. You're working on this. That way you can prep yourself and be confident that you can come over here and you can kick some serious butt on paid advertisement. So anyways, wanted to shoot this video um, and, and really try to bring to light the understanding of how important your follow-up is. And if you're interested in um, me looking over your follow-up, visit letsfixyourfollowup.com. I'm gonna write this down here. Let's fix your followup.com. And what we're gonna do is we'll hop on the phone, we'll talk about your follow-up, we'll see how many leads you have, see if there is a solution of me helping plug in this system that has just been proven effective on our end. That way, every single lead you get, and that way, all you have to do is focus on getting those leads, right? You just have to focus on getting new leads because you know if you get a lead in your funnel, all this is gonna take care of it for you automatically. So you go out and do what you do best, which is deliver your service, right? And helping other people get their solutions and going out there, and then that's gonna pull in your leads automatically. Um, or if you do paid advertisement, do what you do best there. So. We'll take care of this. Let's get on the phone. Let's fix, let's, let's fix your follow up.com. Let's get on the phone. Let's discuss your follow up. Let's see what your goals are with that. And uh, let's see if we can help you out with that. All right. Thank you.